humans primarily engage in a metabolic pathway called aerobic respiration for energy. Aerobic respiration uses oxygen as an electron acceptor which enables the burning of food. Now what if your body demands more energy but does not have enough oxygen to supply? The body then shifts to anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration refers to the oxidation of molecules in the absence of oxygen to produce energy in opposition to aerobic respiration which does use oxygen. It requires other electron acceptors such as nitrate, sulfate, elemental sulfur, and carbon dioxide to replace oxygen. It is basically a set of chemical reactions that allow cells to gain energy from complex molecules without oxygen. This anaerobic respiration is not used only by humans, but also by organisms who live in environments with little levels of oxygen. So what is the chemical reaction then? The reaction happens when glucose gets converted to lactic acid and energy. Plants may also resort to using anaerobic respiration. In plants, glucose gets converted to ethanol, carbon dioxide, and energy. This reaction also occurs in yeast cells and is called fermentation. Fermentation is used in baking bread and brewing alcohol. Now let's look at the pros and cons of this chemical reaction as it relates to human beings. Here are the pros. Anaerobic respiration allows muscles to keep working even if there's an oxygen deficiency. The energy created by anaerobic respiration can be readily absorbed, giving bursts of energy in need to respond to situations. Anaerobic exercises can improve respiration rates and lactic acid thresholds. Now here are the cons. It will produce lactic acid wherein too much will cause muscle cramps. This process is a temporary solution which provides energy for only a limited amount of time and it does not provide endurance energy. Too much anaerobic exercise pushes muscles to its limits, causing fatigue and possible injury. Muscle tissue can be consumed for energy instead of fat tissues. Now overall, anaerobic respiration is a chemical reaction that happens more often than you think. It happens in both humans and plants. It has many benefits, but it also has its disadvantages. Nonetheless, anaerobic respiration is used in many helpful things like baking and alcohol brewing which make our daily lives better.